Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to study lab program 17. Write a user defined function with more than one word. Title case string, where string is passed as parameter. Title case means that the first letter of each word is capitalized. Now, let us write the function definition with the keyword called def. And here I am going to take the name of the function as student and I am going to pass yes as parameter and put the colon as per the syntax of function definition and after this we have to give some indentation space then i'll write one variable called s1 is equal to i'll take this s dot then i'm going to write the inbuilt function called title so which makes the first letter of each word capitalize next i'm going to print and in a double quotation mark, I'll write the input string in the title case is. And here, double quotation mark will wind up this and put a comma, then we will write yes one. So, otherwise, directly also you can write here in place of s1, yes dot title. That is, we are calling this particular function to make first letter of each word in a capital letter. Now, the function definition is over in alignment with the definition. Here, I am going to declare a variable called name and here we are going to receive input from the user. In input statement, I am going to write in a double quotation mark, enter the string. In the double quotation mark and close the bracket. Here I'm going to take a variable called space and set it with value 0. Next we'll iterate through this entire string using for loop. For b is variable in name. Then put colon. After that, with the indentation, we have to check out the condition if b dot is space. So here this function returns a boolean value either true or false. If there is a space then this returns value true. In that situation with indentation space I am going to use this variable space plus is equal to 1. So it is going to increment its value by 1. Now I am going to check out one more condition which is outside the for loop with alignment of this for loop. I am going to write here if name dot is title and colon if this condition is true then it has to print in a double quotation mark i'll write the string is already in title case End the double quotation mark and close the bracket. If this is not true, then we'll check out one more condition using elif statement. Elif space is greater than zero and put colon. In this situation, we are going to call this user defined function called student. Here I'll write student and we will pass the argument name. If this is not true, then else part will get executed. So here I'm going to write else and with indentation space, I'm going to write print the string is in one word and the double quotation mark and close the bracket. Now let us see its output. So whenever we execute this particular program, always execution starts from here. It will ask the user to enter the string. For example, for the first time I am going to enter hello. You can observe here it is written in lowercase letter H E L L O. It will be stored in a variable called name. Space is set to zero for B in name if 
b dot is space so you can check out it is going to iterate through all these characters using iterative statements so there are five characters it is going to iterate from the first letter to last letter but here there is no space hence it is not going to get incremented value of space by one so next it is going to check out this condition if name dot is title so here it is going to return false value why because all the letters of this particular word is written in lower case letter and it is not in a title case the first letter is not in capital letter so hence this also returns false value it is going to check out l if space is greater than 0 no because space is not incremented by 1 so space is 0 only so hence this is also false so hence this particular function call will not be made directly else part will get executed the string is in one word will be printed the string is in one word so this is run one so let us execute this program one more time and let us call it run two so one more time we are going to execute and it will ask the user to enter the string and now i am going to type capital h e l l o hello you can observe here it is stored in the variable called name space is set to zero for b in name so it is going to iterate through all these characters using this iterative statement and here also the space will not get incremented by one because there is no blank space so it is going to iterate for the first time using iterative statement and it is going to move on to e l o okay so up to o and after that we don't have any space so hence this particular condition will be false the control jumps to the next one if name dot is title so here you can observe the first letter of this word is capital hence it is going to return value true once it is true it is going to print this particular statement it is going to print the string is already in title case so next we are going to run this program one more time let us call it run 3 once again it will ask the user to enter the string here i am going to type hello with one space word here you can observe both of these two words consisting of lower case letters only so now hello word will be stored in a variable called name and space is set to zero for b in name it is going to iterate through all of these words from h to d so it is going to check out h for the first time e next l next l next o here you can observe there is a blank space so if b dot is space yes it is true once it is true the space value will get incremented by one so here space is equal to space plus one so space is set to value one once again the control continues iterating through all of these letters so w o r l d and then it stops iterating the control comes out of this iterative statement then it is going to check out the next condition if name dot is title here you can observe it is not in a title case because all the letters of both of these two words are written in lower case letters hence this condition will be false once this is false then next condition will be checked l if space is greater than 0 yes space value is what here 1 1 is greater than 0 yes condition is true if this condition is true then we are going to make a call of this user defined function student of name control directly jumps to this particular function definition and it is going to convert this particular string to the title case using s yes dot title so here it will be initialized to s1 so now s1 is equal to the first letter of each word will be capital so it is capital h e l l o and w will be in capital letter and the rest of the letters will be written in lowercase letters now 
so it is going to print the input string is in title case so here you can see that it is going to print the input string in the title case is then it is going to print s1 so s1 it is going to print hello world and first letter of both of these two word is written in capital letters now it's time to go for executing this program let us execute and check out the results now we have come to vs code let us click on new file and here i'm going to type lab 17.py and press enter here we can observe we have already come in lab 17.py file let us write definition i'll write name of the definition as student and i'll pass s as parameter and put colon and press enter now i'm going to fast forward this particular part of the video so that we can save our time Now it's uh, time to save this particular file by pressing Ctrl S and let us execute this program. Go to run, click on run, start debugging, click on Python debugger, click on Python file, debug the currently active Python file. Here it is asking the user to enter the string. For example, I'm going to enter hello and press enter. Here you can observe the string is in one word it is displaying. Let us execute this one more time by pressing Alt Control N. Now, once again, it is asking the user to enter the string. This time, I'm going to write hello. The H should be capital and press enter. Here you can observe the string is already in title case. I'm going to execute uh, this program one more time by pressing Alt Control N. Now, it is asking the user to enter the string. Here I'm going to enter hello world in lowercase letters and i'm going to press enter here you can see the input string in title case is hello world first letter of each word is capital i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood and if you want to check out this program along with the flowchart then the link is given in the description below thank you so much for watching this video till the end and we'll see you in the next video